Today, I am going to show how you can fix a bank deposit that was recorded as one whole transaction posted to income, but in reality, it's a deposit of multiple invoice payments and the invoices are still show as unpaid in QuickBooks Online. So this is the bank deposit. It was added from the bank feed for $200. And when we look at it, we see that it's just all posted to landscaping services, $200. But in reality, this was customer Diego Rodriguez that had four invoices for $50 each and they had paid all of them at once. So how would we reflect this in the bank? This is going to be a two-step process. First, we are going to record the payment, and then we are going to fix the deposit. So the first thing we'll do is we are going to enter each payment information received if it was individual checks, if it's one check for all of the invoices, you will create one receive payment transaction. So let's say that the payment was received on July 22nd. And you want to record the payment method. And let's say it was check one, two, three, four. The most important thing in the screen is that the deposit to be undeposited funds. Do not select the bank account. This will be critical for the next step. So in this particular case, we're going to assume that Diego gave us a couple of separate checks. So let's say that he paid for these two invoices with check one, two, three, four, and then he gave us a separate check for the other ones. So we will record one receive payment transaction for each check. And if he paid in cash, then we can select all of them at once. So in this case, we're going to pretend that there were two checks. So I am going to click Save and New. And that payment is now recorded. Now I just need to do the same for the other two invoices. So we just select the customer. The invoices will populate. I am going to select Check. We'll say it's one, two, three, four, five. And we are going to make sure that this is set to undeposited funds. Once everything looks good, we click Save and Close. Now, the next step is we need to edit that erroneous deposit to add those payments. So since I had this open before I had recorded those payments, I am going to exit out of it and I'm going to go in again because that's going to refresh this list right here. Whenever you post something to undeposited funds, it's going to show in this section call, select the payments included in this deposit. So now you see that the two payments that I recorded for Diego are selected. So I'm just gonna select those two. And then one other, a very important step. Now we're gonna go down and we're gonna delete this line because we don't need this. This will duplicate it. Now you make sure that you selected the correct payments, that the amount matches the amount in the bank. If you need to remember, you can click here and you'll see the amount right there. And then you will click save and close. And you're done. Now the invoices are paid and the deposits are linked to the correct payments.